next question is what certifications uh, do you currently hold or rather what did you what certifications did you have before doing the OSCP well I don't have any other certification than the OSCP so I, right. I've only I only have this one and for the moment I'm not actually looking forward to getting any certification in the near future but when I do decide to start on certifications again, I'm probably going to be looking for something from eLearn Security, I guess. So eLearn Security and also probably if the OSCP starts upping their game, such as they did with uh, the OSCP in February, if they have updated materials on other certifications, I might be doing other certifications from offensive security. Right. And if you get an employer who's willing to pay for, I don't know, uh, something from uh, SANS uh, yeah. or uh, what was the other one that was super expensive? Uh, G, <laughs> GIAC or something. Oh, uh, GIAC certified. Yeah, those ones are very expensive. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to pay in this situation for those. If I would have the money in the future, uh, maybe I would be paying for them. Okay, so I guess then what sort of organizations would you be applying for? This isn't one of the questions on the list. It's just something I'm I'm curious about. What sort of yeah organizations would you be applying for? Would it be like a um, specific pen testing company or would you be looking more for, I don't know, something in a, an organization type setting? You mean um, what company would I be willing to work for? Not like a, a company name, I just mean like the structure of that business. So is it like a, an agency, like a government agency or perhaps uh, like just a, a pen testing company? They just do pen testing. Well, I currently, I currently work with the company that uh, does pen testing. So uh, Maybe we, get projects, we, get, we get mostly penetration testing projects, but if I want to up my game, so when it comes to upping my game, I would probably be working for a larger company of the same kind. I wouldn't be working for governmental agencies at this point. I don't know, it just uh, doesn't attract me. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I guess it would be a private company that would be like larger private company with a fairly defined organizational structure. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And it's, I think that's a fairly common thing as well for uh, offensive security professionals like yourself to not really want to go to uh, government organizations or agencies um, just because, it, yeah, I can understand exactly they might why. Have, they might have some sort of limitations in terms of what you can do in they your... They definitely have limitations, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not willing to go into that right now. Maybe... Yeah some point in the future i don't know but just not right now i'm willing to work as a penetration test or a cybersecurity analyst or even get into blue team stuff at some point in time for private companies which actually um, seem like more attractive to me right now okay cool